Go big or go home. Oh, Anna. We're going bigger. This thing is a beast. Big pack. What is up? Welcome to the studio. So glad to have you here. We do have a very exciting video. Today, we are going big. Now, I was not prepared to do this video, but I was just feeling like, you know what, I wanna make something giant today. So I measured my kiln, and the largest thing that I could make would be about 27 inches tall and 22 inches wide. So I think what I'm gonna try and do is make a giant planter that we're gonna have outdoor the studio. The likelihood of failure is high, I would say, based on my experience level in this, which is low. You're gonna wanna stick along for this ride. All right, let's do it. Okay, so now we're doing part two, which I don't think I'm even gonna get close to 27 inches tall, but I'll probably get pretty close to the 22 inches wide. Um, oh, but for this, the bath that we have to use is gonna be bigger than the splash pan. This is gonna be interesting and kind of messy. Definitely messy. So we're gonna take this guy off, put this guy, On here. Well, oh, Anna. Oh. Woo. This is try number two. Second piece. Take two. It's time, huh? All right, well, hopefully I did a better job of getting it in the center. All right, well, we'll be back in a few hours and uh, we'll see you then. It's four o'clock now and I think I finished throwing this maybe like 10, so it's probably been like six hours. This is nice and firmed up on the edge here and uh, this one is getting a little nice and firm. So I'm pretty, I think I'm gonna attach them right now. So basically what I gotta do is just score it, put a little slip on it and then do the same thing with this. Flip it over, stick it on top, cut the rim off and then see where we're at. So. Let's do that. All right, looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna take a little needle. Boom! Well, that worked pretty well. 
What do you think? Should I just keep going up? I mean, I'd love it to just be like, maybe like that big. All right, I think I'll do the coils. I think I'm gonna do coils. We're back after dinner, dinner with the fam, and uh, now we're gonna put some more coils on this guy. So I talked to EC about what we want for this planter, and we basically want it to just keep going basically straight up, maybe another like, eight to 12 inches. We're just gonna keep coiling this thing, I think. Feels like it's pretty good, nice and sturdy, so. Maybe add a few more coils and try and like bring it in a little bit, but I'm having a tough time doing that. Every time I try and bring it in, it just wants to get, keep going out. Okay, so behind me, we just covered it with plastic so it doesn't dry out overnight. So we'll be back tomorrow and we'll see if, now I'm kind of thinking in my head, I might as well just add more coils just cause I'm used to using that and I'll just, might as well just add more, right? Go big or go home. I might be done, I might add more, I don't know yet. But I will let you know. So, it's the next day. This was covered overnight. It's uh, progressing very nicely. And I decided I think I'm just going to go bigger. <laughs> We're going bigger. This giant pot continues. If this thing fails, I will actually be disappointed. I have like some serious hours into this guy. All right, let's make a giant mess again. I think instead of centering the clay like this, I'm just gonna get like a giant coil and just like kind of put it around here and then throw that. We'll see how that works. figure out how I'm gonna trim this, the base of this. Now we have our our piece, which I'm gonna, I'm just gonna score around that. Let's hope we measured correctly. I guess my measurement was a little off. That should be good. We should be good. So now I'm just gonna score this up again. Boom!
<laughs> I gotta raise the camera up. You can't even see me anymore. Is it done? Is it, am I done with this thing? Barely fit my hands around it. So now, this is going to be silly. How do I do this? Pick it up two ends. How do I do this, Ryder? A big one. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Plenty thick. I see that. Yeah, put some holes in the bottom for the big planter. All right, we got to put our little JTP in there. Boom. Ready? Ready for a second flip? This makes me nervous. Daddy, moving next. I. Are you helping? There you go, Dad. Oh, thanks, Bud. We got it. Got it. I put that in here. Boom. Boom. Oh. All right, let's do one more final look through. Woo! There it is, bud. All right, friends. Thanks for joining us in this video. This is pretty much by far the biggest pot that I've ever made. Right, Ryder? Yeah. Yeah, it's at least, I'd say it was at least 35 pounds of clay. At least 35. Yeah, maybe more like, what did I say, 35? Maybe it was more like 45 or 50. I know for sure. <laughs> yeah. This I'm gonna let this dry for a very long time because if you don't let make sure it's bone dry, then it could blow up in the kiln. So that would be a disaster. Yeah, this is part one. So tune into part two to see us glaze and finish this. Uh, that video will probably be not for a couple weeks, but. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just pay attention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so funny. Sorry for the squeaky wheel. All right. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, like, share, comment, right or don't touch that. All the things. See you guys in the next video. Next video. Shoo.